So, what do I have in my video making pleasure dome for you today? Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and inspired by a Instagram post from Ben Fitzpatrick, I will put his uh, Instagram handle up there, um, I decided to make this video. Um, and this is basically an eBay pet hate. So my top five eBay pet hate. So this revolves around customers. It revolves around the eBay site, things that I don't like with the eBay site, all that sort of stuff. I've tried to take into consideration a wide range of different things, not just trying to focus on one thing in particular. These are in no order. Number one isn't necessarily the worst, and number five isn't necessarily the least worst. Um, it's just in any random order. So, without further ado, we shall get on with this. So, uh, number one, again, not in any order, um, customers who ask stupid questions. And what I mean by this is, what's the measurement of X item when it is clearly been stated in the description and or the photographs as well? Or maybe just the photographs and not in the description or whatever. But the measurements of the item have been clearly displayed somewhere in the listing for the person to see and if they only look around the listing a little bit whether that's in the description photos title wherever it the information is there and uh, obviously it can be any sort of item it can be a piece of pottery it can be some men's jeans whatever it is if you've displayed the measurements and you get a question like that it does annoy me because it's like have you really taken the time necessary to look around that listing and actually see the information that's there and the answer is no if you're asking me that question obviously you've not looked around the listing in enough detail so that's just one of my little pet hates I mean you could you could put it down to any stupid questions any and all stupid questions that come your way really on eBay and there is so many examples and every day on all of these different Facebook groups we get more and more examples of these messages that sellers are receiving from buyers who just don't seem to have a clue really so yeah that's number one but as I say not in any particular order um, customers who message you uh, yeah customers who message you after just purchasing an item saying they'd like to cancel for a very dodgy reason now I don't mean just anyone asking to cancel if someone has a valid reason that they want to cancel the item fair enough but I mean there's there's like really kind of dodgy, there's sort of dodgy um, reasons that people say. I mean, there's like certain people, and I don't know whether these are true or not. Like, I mean, these reasons could be true, and maybe I'm putting down people here, but, you know, like people saying like their, their cats walked across the keyboard and stuff. I sympathise with that. I have a cat. And she did it the other day, actually, where she walked across the keyboard and it locked up the keyboard and I couldn't type or anything. So I kind of sympathise and maybe it's truthful, but at the end of the day, probably some of them are just saying that just to make an excuse up to cancel the order because they've actually made the mistake of clicking that buy button or whatever and not reading the listing properly. There's many different things. There's many people who maybe partake in emotional blackmail and are... Um, saying that they have a disability or have a child that has a disability. Again, I can't call them out specifically because I don't know whether they're being truthful. However, if it's happening on a grand scale to a lot of different retailers like it is, it seems that maybe these uh, reasons aren't actually genuine. Now, some of them maybe they are, um, but still, having a disability or having a disabled child or whatever, it doesn't relate to, maybe doesn't relate to actually clicking a buy it now button. So again, it's kind of just a bit of like kind of a way out of the, of buying the item. So, you know, I wanted to approach that uh, point with a little bit of caution because I know it could sound a little bit like I'm being a bit harsh or unemotional, but at the end of the day, some of these reasons just seem a little bit far-fetched or maybe not so genuine. I mean, some of them maybe are, maybe there is genuine people out there with these reasons. However, some others are just doing it to get out of buying the item because actually they don't want to buy the item. But yeah, so that's that one. Um, 
Now, next one relates to personal sellers specifically, but again, this could relate to business sellers actually, so this is more on the selling side. So, personal sellers and or, I should obviously include business sellers, but personal or business sellers who send you items wrapped in a bin bag. Let's say, you know, I've not got one to hand, but let's say you've got a ceramic pot. You've got a nice ceramic pot, whatever makers it is, I don't know, but let's just say it's like an half a wood pot or vase or something, and they wrap it in a blooming bin bag or we wrap it very very loosely in a bubble wrap or some sort of big bubble mailer or something and they're not just giving the care and attention to the item. It doesn't have to be just ceramics, it could be just anything that you know could get damaged or slightly you know bent or um, you know harmed in any way, the item could get harmed and they just wrap it in quite a lazy way to you know something that's breakable and just put it in a very very flimsy uh, way of packaging it so yeah in a bubble mail or something so yeah personal sellers or business sellers who package things in just a, just a poor way really or a lazy way and I hate to say it but it is mainly personal sellers I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me when I say that however I can't just stereotype all personal sellers and say that they're all terrible because that's not the case you know and there's some business sellers who are most probably terrible at packaging so you know it doesn't necessarily mean just personal sales or just business sales but any seller in general who is just quite lazy with the packaging and obviously the item of the package is noticeably going to get damaged in in post or in the in the transit system so yeah that's number three uh, number four is uh, well the last two are kind of specific to the ebay website itself so number four is eBay items randomly appearing in or disappearing from your inventory uh, and then forcing you to have to do an inventory check every five blooming minutes. So you're constantly having to check your inventory to make sure that eBay is doing right by you and not like taking things out of your inventory randomly or you know taking or, or putting in items back in your inventory and I've had both situations and it just seems very weird, it seems like some sort of glitch or something, but in terms of eBay themselves, that's a pet hate of mine that actually eBay could probably correct um, themselves with the site, it's not specific to sellers or buyers, it's actually eBay, um, and yeah, just things like randomly appearing in or disappearing from your inventory, it's very, very annoying, and when you come to do a stock check, I'm sure if you've got any sort of amount of inventory on eBay, um, then you will you will see that maybe one of your items has appeared back in your inventory or maybe it's just completely gone off eBay altogether like you've listed it but over the month or whatever it's just fell off eBay for some weird reason that's unknown to you, unknown to you really so yeah I've had that and that's a real pet hate and then finally alright this is a little bit of a jokey one but at the same time it annoys me um, and I know that people who list on their phone specifically it will annoy them too the little circle loading thing on the mobile app when I am listing, and I put it's the bane of my life. It really is that little circle that goes on. We all know it if you list on mobile. A little circle going round, going round, going round. You're like you've got connection, but for some reason it keeps going round, and you you stood there for about ten minutes watching it go round. You think I've got I've got full bars here. What's going on? But you know it keeps going round, keeps going round. Keeps, oh, there we go. Right, great. And then you go into the description and you do your description, and then you click out of it, and the blowing little thing comes up again, goes round for ten minutes, and then click into your price and your format, and you do all that click out of it and for some reason it's up there again it's loading for blooming more time than it, than it takes to list the item but yeah there's a little bit of a jokey one there but also it does hold some truth it annoys me it really does annoy me to hell that uh, that little loading thing and as i mentioned even when you've got full signal sometimes for me anyway not all the time you know sometimes it'll be very very quick that it goes off but sometimes i'll have a fairly good connection in this house and it'll still keep loading like I'll have two or three bars of a little con Wi-Fi connectivity and uh, it'll still keep loading round for some reason but yeah they're my five eBay pet hates if you have any anything to say about them please do drop a comment down below what are your five eBay pet hates please do drop them down below in the comment section as well I'd love to hear it and uh, if you've got any to add to the list obviously you know whack them down below so I'll leave it there guys thank you for watching if you did like the video please be sure to uh, smash that like button and I will see you in the next video so I'll see you very soon guys